I have some exciting news for all of you today. I'm going to talk about a brand new game published by Marvelous. Brand new game. This game is called Sakuna of Rise and Ruin and it is a side-scrolling action combat cute game also with farming elements in a 3D hub world environment. So it is a hybrid game between side-scrolling action and some farming elements where you grow rice in a field. This game is developed by Edelweiss and it is published by the amazing Marvelous. And Thank you so much to Marvelous, one of my favorite publishers and developers. They sent me the game to unbox in front of all of you. I've been looking very much forward to this game and I'm gonna take a look at this physical copy for my first time. So here it is guys, a big physical copy of Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, Golden Harvest Edition. Look at this box, so beautiful. The artwork is so beautiful, so cute. <laughs> so this limited Golden Harvest Edition contains the game mm -hmm. and a 128 page full color art book. I love art books. A poster and a 3 CD original soundtrack. Tame the Isle of Demons as the exiled harvest goddess Sakuna. Battle monsters and restore the fields to their former glory in this stunning blend of intense platforming action and farming simulation. Help your human companions survive and thrive. I think the box is really pretty and it is heavy and I am looking forward to see what's inside. I'm also very honored to be working with Marvelous. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Here we have the sleeve and then... And then... It's so beautiful though. It's so beautiful, so cute. It's been a while since I had anything physical because I've been going more and more over to digital. This is actually really nice, really sweet. Oh, smells so good. Oh. So here we have all the characters with their portraits and a little text to all of them. Mm, animals, demons, the enemies in the game and of course all the characters in the game. Here we have some concept art and sketches of the characters. And here we have Sakuna, which is the main character that you control in this game. And her sidekick, Tama. This is a really decent art book. It feels high quality. It feels heavy and high quality. <laughs> we all know that heavy things means high quality. Uh, concept art of locations. A lot of concept art uh, artwork. <laughs> and this book smells so good. I wish you could smell it. <laughs> so that was actually super cute. Super, super, super cute. And then we have Sakuna of Rise and Ruin, the original soundtrack. There's actually budding. Oh, I thought it said pudding. <laughs> Three discs? Oh my, it actually has three discs of the soundtrack of the game. Really nice. And here we have a poster, which you can frame and have on your wall of the beautiful artwork of Sakuna. Here we have Sakuna and her friends with the rice field and basically fields in the background. And last but not least, we have the game. The physical game of Sakuna. This was so cute. I don't think I can say it enough that this was cute. I actually miss having physical limited edition of things. Like collector edition um, editions, if you know what I mean. I mean, it was my obsession some years ago. To have a lot of, you know, big physical boxes and it's coming back to me. <laughs> So anyways, if you guys don't know this already, Marvelous are the people behind the good old Harvest Moon games. They are the people behind Rune Factory and Story of Seasons. 
Marvelous is a company that both develops and publishes games. And I have always considered myself a huge fan of Marvelous and my entire channel is a living proof of that. I mean, I have reviewed Harvest Moon games since I started YouTube. And I have reviewed Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. I have reviewed Rune Factory 4 on my channel. And also Fate Extella Link. Just a bunch of old Harvest Moon games. And I mean, if you have followed Isha Gaming for a little while, you know that this is my favorite genre. The farming sim, the life sim. Games where you basically simulate farming or like just role play a character that has like a home and some RPG elements and with Rune Factory you actually had some fighting elements alongside with farming elements and I loved it and this game is like that too this time with Sakuna you have side-scrolling action and I have started this game. My first impression of this game is that the fighting and the side-scrolling is super smooth, really nice, cute, action-y, and you can actually sort of slingshot yourself into characters and, and slingshot yourself behind them, positioning yourself and stuff like that. You also have skills and abilities, and you can upgrade or change out your actual weapons in the game. You can also customize Sakuna. I have a hat, so you can choose to have that on or off. The actual combat in fighting feels very good on the Switch. Very good. Um, no complaints there with performance. Performs really well. The graphics are also crisp on the actual screen when you play in handheld. And I play a lot in handheld. I have actually only played this game in handheld since I got it and since I have tried it a tiny bit. I still need to play this game way more. Some of the characters has the voice acting and uh, some dialogue doesn't have voice acting, but that is normal, I'm used to that. And when it comes to the actual rice farming, it has a bunch of sort of mini games to it, as you can see. Well, first you have to plant these rice crops and then you have to put water into the field and you can raise and lower the water as the rice grows. So when the rice is growing, you go out and fight and you bring back materials to your home where you can actually process some of your materials into dishes. And long story short, eventually you will get more powerful the better the rice is. <laughs> so who do I think that this game is for? I think it is for anyone who is very much into actually live sims and farming sims, sort of like me, like if you like my taste in games. This is actually in that realm. But this game is also very nice for everyone that is a fan of side-scrolling action combat games. And also people that are a fan of this art style. It's very pretty and heavily focused on the art style and this culture that is in the game. From the little that I have played this game, it is mostly the action combat sequences, you know, the side-scrolling part of the game. That is, um, it feels like that is what is focused on the most. And in between those sections of the game, you go back and, you know, you tend to your rice crops. So it's a bit, you know, back and forth between these two game elements. That is why I call it a hybrid. Action side-scrolling and farming simulation hybrid. And when we are on the topic of Marvelous, because I can't help myself, I need to talk about some of the upcoming games as well. I don't have to, but I want to. <laughs> And that is a new Story of Seasons game is announced and it is coming March 23rd, 2021. And that is called Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. I am super excited for this game and I am sure that I will do a buy or not review of that game. Go thoroughly through everything so that you guys get to know what this game is all about. Because I reviewed the previous Story of Seasons game and yes, I will review the new one as well. So, you know, don't worry. Which is a game that has farming, of course, and a customizable farm layout. You can customize your farm layout and you can forage, go mining, go fishing. It is that formula. So ready for that game as well. And Story of Seasons is a game series that is really good for you if you are already into Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, but Story of Seasons is 
by the original people behind the original Harvest Moon, which is, in my opinion, the original first life simulator that defined the entire genre in the 90s. That sort of people. And I cannot help myself again. I need to talk a tiny bit about Rune Factory 5. Because I haven't talked about it yet, and yes, this is also a game that I can confirm right now that I will review no matter what. Rune Factory. I love Rune Factory. I reviewed Rune Factory 4. I started playing Rune Factory like 10 years ago. I have so many fond memories with this series. I have fond memories of Rune Factory 4, of course, because it was originally released on the 3DS. And I have fond memories of Rune Factory Frontier on the Wii. And Rune Factory Oceans, also called Tides of Destiny in some places in the world, but my version says Oceans. So many fond memories, and Rune Factory 5 is announced. Actually, I cried <laughs> when that was announced. Oh god, cringe. But yeah, I was really excited when they announced that, because I thought the Rune Factory series was dead and over and bankrupt or whatever, because they announced that some years ago. Then I heard that Rune Factory 5 is coming, <laughs> and it has the exact graphical style that I was hoping it would have. Also a game I'm looking forward to, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I hope you want to hit like on it. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. I... you know... things. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you... later.